our ship has just left the dry dock, but we haven't resumed our voyage yet. We were told to go to the anchorage area and stay there while waiting for our clearance. Even though we finished maneuvering just past midnight, I was eager to wake up early to fly my drone and get a few shots of our ship fresh from dry dock. Of course, the beautiful light coming from the sunrise and the majestic backdrop of all the other ships at anchor, plus a calm sea and only a slight breeze, provided the perfect conditions for me to take this beautiful shot. And since we were going to stay here for a few hours, we took this opportunity to launch our lifeboat and rescue boat and carry out some testing. So last night we already left the dry dock, but we only went out and dropped our anchor here at the anchorage area because we're still waiting for our port clearance and it's scheduled to come probably around lunchtime today so while waiting for the agent to deliver it to our ship we're going to launch the lifeboat and the rescue boat A ship's lifeboat is required to be launched and tested regularly to ensure that everything is in good working order and that the crew is familiar with the launching procedure as well as in the operation and maneuvering. This can be done whenever the ship is at anchor or if allowed, even in port, as long as the weather and sea condition is favorable. Each crew member has their own specific role in the launching process, but of course it is better if everyone knows everything that needs to be done in order to facilitate faster and safer launching, especially in case of actual emergencies. Before everyone goes and does their part, the chief mate gives a briefing on how the drill should proceed. Okay, so as usual, we are not dropping the lifeboat. Although it is a freefall lifeboat, we are not dropping it. We're just lowering it down for safety reasons. The freefall function, we will use that in case of actual emergency. But for testing like this, I think it's better, it's safer to just lower it by the David. You know, just for peace of mind. Although our lifeboat is of the freefall type, meaning its primary launching is achieved by activating a lever to release the lashing mechanism and letting the boat slide freely until it falls into the water, we choose to reserve that in case we actually need to abandon the ship. We chose to launch instead using the davits. Although this secondary means of launching is slower, it provides us with a great measure of control and will allow us to recover the boat quickly in case something wrong happens. As soon as the lifeboat was on the water, the boat team started going down. Since we were only staying here for a short time, we needed to finish this drill quickly. So in order to prevent the boat from drifting in case the engine fails, 
we decided to keep it tied up so we can easily pull it back, just in case. Of course, when we get a better opportunity next time, we will definitely go for a full run like we normally do. But this will have to do for now. As soon as we were satisfied that the ahead in the stern propulsion was working, the lifeboat was ordered to pull back and get ready for recovery. Once the lifeboat team was back aboard the ship, the davit slowly hoisted the lifeboat and safely stowed it back to its place. Next, we're going to test, uh, we're going to lower the rescue boat. As what its name implies, the rescue boat is used to rescue or recover people who fell overboard. It can be quickly launched using a davit and is manned by a designated rescue boat team. Same as the lifeboat, it is required to be launched and tested regularly. Unlike the enclosed freefall lifeboat, the rescue boat is smaller and equipped with oars, which is why we were confident about letting it go because if in case the engine fails, the rescue boat team can simply paddle their way back to the recovery point. Again, as soon as we were satisfied that it was in good working order, the rescue boat was ordered to pull back and get ready for recovery. Having only just left dry dock and immediately scheduled to resume our voyage to our loading port, we had a busy schedule ahead of us. And since we still had a few hours of waiting time here at the Anchorage area, so I guess since we are still waiting for our departure time, I'm going to take advantage of this slight break and have a bit of rest and relaxation just here in the sofa until they call me downstairs for maneuvering again. So, see you next time.